Well, we don't have to wait for New Year's to get like New Year's type <laughs> weather, John. Well, it's here, and it looks like it'll be here for about the next eight to ten days before we see a little bit of a break as we approach the Thanksgiving holiday. A few flurries out there. Kevin walked in from dinner with a dark coat and saw some white flecks, went to flick them off, but it was actually snow, so no worries there. No need to switch shampoos or anything. <laughs> Low 20s early morning will be about 19 for sunrise, and then 22 by 9, 26 at 11. Now, much like today, it will be breezy and a little more sun, at least some breaks of sun during the afternoon tomorrow, and that may help you feel a little bit better, but temperature-wise, just not much different. Now, look around the region. Upper teens, Minneapolis, 20 Omaha, but you head out west, Rapid City, one above right now, and North Platte just eight. At 5 o'clock tonight, we showed you how anytime the jet stream dips south over the central portion of the country, somebody's receiving the warm end of things, and that is up in Alaska right now. These are current temperatures in central Alaska in the mid to upper 30s, even Fairbanks, 25, Anchorage at 39, and you head down toward Valdez on the coast, and temperatures actually in the upper 40, so a whole lot better there than here, and it'll be that way for the next uh, week and a half or so. North winds continue. That is keeping our wind chills single digits far northwest, upper single digits here in the metro and the teens across southern Iowa. With that wind today, even our webcam up at the bell tower in Jefferson rocking around a little bit, and you can see about a half inch of snow on the ground up in Greene County. Northern Iowa, the winter as far as snowfall accumulations, but only around an inch. Rockwell City, northward up toward Mason City, and central Iowa right around a half inch. Still very gusty winds coming in from the northwest, 15 to 25, through tonight and through the day tomorrow. Another little system, very weak, will try to rotate down out of Minnesota. This will bring some clouds, maybe some flurries, but no more in the way of accumulating snow. Now, high temperatures tomorrow, much like today in the upper teens to mid-20s over the central portion of the country, head up a little higher elevations, get out toward Rapid City and out into Montana, single digits to around 10 to 12 degrees. So for tonight, 18 here in the metro, head outside of town a few miles, 15 to 17. As we move through the day tomorrow, upper 20s, wind still gusty, that'll keep the wind chill, single digits to mid-teens. Then as we head into the extended forecast, we're talking low 30s all the way into Thursday, Friday. Saturday, chance of snow, slightly warmer on Saturday. Now the snow chance on Saturday right now really looks to be pretty much on the light side. It'll be a system that'll come in from the west, not last all that long. We're looking for Saturday morning through early Sunday, like around 3, 4 a.m., one to three inches is the current outlook. Not a lot of wind with this particular system. So at least that doesn't look like a big winter storm for the weekend. But we'll keep an eye on it as it gets closer because it's still several days away. Temperatures, though, all the way through the middle of next week, upper 20s and low 30s.